Hey, it's Rudy. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, Jeff Nolsey and Soundwave SG1, Dave and Emily have been killing it with TF Nation video Q and A's. Um, I've loved answering your questions, and I, being a new YouTuber, I thought I would throw myself in and ask three questions of my own. So here we go. Here's three questions that I wrote, and if you want to answer them and do a response, then please do. Um, if not, just watch and enjoy. Uh, listen to what I've got to listen to what I've got to say. Um, I've come a bit more prepared, obviously. Uh, the last couple of videos that I've done, uh, do you know, all my videos there, they're ad hoc and they're off the cuff, and then I don't edit them and. I don't script them or anything, so but I've I've done a bit more preparation for this one. So, just three questions. Um, so hopefully it won't take up too much of your time. But as I said, you know, just go on answer them, answer them. If you don't, just just enjoy the video and build that hype, build that hype for TF Nation. Um, that's what I'm doing. I just I'm so excited to go, and I just I just can't wait. So it's it's a great way for for me to channel my excitement and get my my stuff out there so I'm, I'm already I'm all ready to go so got my trusty little notebook um, for any of you people that have watched my uh, videos before I've, I've always got this kind of on standby um, so here we go question one what was your favorite unexpected auto assembly or TF Nason purchase so for me um, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm pre-prepared. This is my unexpected purchase. I queued and spoke to Dan Gilberson in Auto Assembly 2003 for Bumblebee and Me. I'm not too fast about queuing and getting things signed, but he was um, he was my Spider-Man. I, I thought he was great in Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends, and Bumblebee's a great character. He's, he's not my favourite character, but he he portrayed the character so well. So uh, I queued and got myself a little uh, book and got him to uh, got him to sign it for me, which is totally unexpected for me because I'm I'm you know I am a little bit shy and we are talking about five years ago and I was much shyer then and obviously now in the last month I've become a YouTuber and become a lot more confident um, with chatting to people and just getting content out there so for me at that time it's, it's very expected for me to, to do such a, a thing but and it's a really wonderful and unexpected thing um, that I absolutely love. Buying figures was not um, an unexpected thing for me uh, uh, auto assembly, uh, so there's going to be plenty of you guys that picked picked up a figure you didn't think you would uh, go for. So I'd, I'd love to love to hear that. Um, so yeah, question one. As I said, just three questions, just snappy, just have fun with it. Uh, question two: Did attending a convention change your views um, or stance on anything? You know, it could be from a a show or a toy line or the comics or a comic book artist who you know you, you didn't pay much interest into or you weren't you know too fussed about. Did did going to the convention just kind of change your mind about things? Um, for me, it's the same as when I was there in two thousand thirteen at Auto Assembly. There was this young lad. Who was there? I think his name. Uh, his name was Jack, and he was up on stage a lot of the time, and he was just in amongst the crowd. But his knowledge of G1 comics, um, ranging from the UK and the US, and Action Force and GI Joe, he was an absolute aficionado. He was just answering quiz questions like there was nothing, and he really um, invoked. Something in me where I was just like, you know what, I want to go back to the comics. I want to read Target 2006. I want, I want to see Megatron Battle Galvatron again. And I, I want to revisit 
comics because I, I, I'd not looked at Transformers comics for years and years and years. It was only when I got a couple of the um, IDW reissued character specific um, bundles that they did and um, a Hots of Steel was another one that it kind of it got me back into comics again with with Transformers. I'd, I'd, you know, I'd read Preacher and I'd gone back to Civil War and um, Watchmen. I'd, you know, I'd, I'd been those comics, but I'd never been interested in revisiting Transformers comics that I, you know, I bought here and there in the 80s, you know, just when you were the news agents and you just thought, oh, I'll just pick up a, a comic or you'd pick up Look In. Um, and, you know, it just, there was no continuity for me in terms of... Um, Transformers comics. So seeing this guy, uh, this young lad, Jack, who was the be all end all fountain of knowledge for this was, it really changed my mind about um, being a Transformers fan. So yeah, props to Jack on 2013. I really hope that he's still going to conventions and I'd, uh, I'd love to meet up with him. You know, it's, it's five years since I was at Auto Assembly and Things have sort of changed now, so but I'm hoping he's he's going to be there, and not that I would even recognise what he looked like, but it doesn't matter. He was he really really kind of changed my stance on things. Um, so yeah, that's question two. Uh, question three: uh, Is there anything that you wish you had done differently or bought previously, um, or perhaps something that you might do differently this time? Uh, for me, it's, this is why I jotted these down, because um, I've got loads to answer for, for this. Um, if I think back to going to Auto Assembly in 2013 and the Saturday uh, at Rock Wall on, in Southampton, and just on that uh, Saturday, um, literally I, I popped in there for a, a few, I don't even know if it was an hour, I was just, it was... I live so close to Southampton, being in Portsmouth, and I just, I think that it was so close to the train station as well, I just popped my head in, uh, I didn't kind of really know what I was doing, but what, things that I would like to do differently this time is, I wish um, that I would have talked to more attendees, um, which is something that I'm definitely going to do differently uh, this time when I come to TF Nation, I'm definitely going to speak to way more people, I just, I wanted to do my own thing when I first went to a convention, and, and previous to that I'd been to like toy fairs when I was just doing my own thing, and I'd been to VW festivals where I was just, I was there with my family, and it's just, you know, when, you, when you're a bit younger you just stick to what you know, whereas, you know, this year I'm going to be chatting to people that come up to me, just people that, you know, want to meet fellow YouTubers, so... Yeah, definitely in terms of that. Another thing is, I wish I'd bought more money. Um, I only went with £100 last time, and it was just another to, to cover like two figures and a book. Um, so definitely going to bring a bit more cash this year. Although, that's not exactly what it's about, but I've kind of got a clear idea of what I want to pick up. And I think from watching other videos, I know what to kind of spend and uh, doing three days as opposed to one this time. I know that I'm going to need a bit more cash for staying hydrated and fueled and uh, those bits and pieces. Um, another thing that I'll do differently this time is I'm not going to overthink what I buy. I've mentioned it before in previous videos that I've, I've just wasted too much time humming and ahhing about what to buy. Um, if I see you know, a G1 toy on two uh, on Toy Fu. I'm probably just gonna just go and get it. Um, one because it's for charity, and two because you know I love my G1. And I'm just gonna you know do. It. I don't want to dilly dally. You know, I'm just gonna get in there and spend a bit of cash, have a lot of a lot of fun uh, with it. Um, something that I kind of wish I'd done thinking about a few years ago is had a bit more of a social networking understanding. Admittedly, back in 2013, um, 
it was a spur of the moment, last minute birthday present. Um, with my birthday being at the end of July, we were at Ottawa Assembly like two weeks later, um, which, to be honest, I was, I didn't know there was a, a Facebook community. I didn't know there was a fandom that was easily reachable that, um, that would be so welcoming of, of what you guys do and just, just putting your thoughts out there. And I wish I'd kind of had a bit more common sense to just to, just to check Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and uh, got, kind of gotten a bit more involved with people that are going there before before I went. Maybe I wouldn't have been so shy or awkward or tried to do it all on my own. Um, so yeah. And then finally, just I don't know if it's an answer to the three of these, but um, what I want to do is when I'm there, um, having not been for a while and not been a YouTuber for for long, as I said, it's only it's literally I've only been doing this a month. I um I definitely want to make a video when I'm there. You know, whether it's just a little quick haul video, if you know, in the first couple of hours I've bought a couple of things, I might just sneak myself off and do a little haul video or um, chat to a few people and see if they're up for a little collaboration video where we open up our toys together or we just give our our thoughts about what's going on at the moment. So yeah, I'm definitely up for doing some collabs, so just just come meet me, come come see if you want to make a video with me and we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there or even just, just, just come and chat. I've got I've got so much to talk about um, in terms of collecting and Transformers and I'm, I've, I've been quite outspoken about um, my choices with collecting and my thoughts on figures and I just, I can't wait to discuss and bring the whole thing to to life because it's, in some ways it's so much more than just a dealer room or bits of artwork or meeting guests, it's, it's this whole community that can be there without sort of any, any fears, you know, and you know, I just, just, yeah, just, here we go. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're my three questions. Um, as I said, at the start of the video, just if you want to answer them, or if you want to respond, please do. I'm, I'm always ready to comment back and open up a dialogue. Uh, I've mentioned it a couple of times on, on social uh, networking. It's just, I wish it was sooner, but um, I just know in the next two weeks it's going to build and build and build. So. Stay tuned to the channel, um, like, subscribe, uh, there's plenty more to come, not just about TF Nation either, so keep your eyes peeled for more videos and take care, um, speak to you soon, and I'll see you on the next video, thanks, bye.